Okay everybody, welcome to Linux Hint YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the differences between apt and apt-get. So the idea is that every Linux user knows the powerful apt and apt-get command and most probably use it for managing packages in their system. However, most of them do not understand the difference between apt and apt-get and often get confused when to use one or another. So in this video, we're gonna break down that thing for you. So if we talk about the apt and apt-get brief history, the idea is that the, the apt command line utility was introduced in 2014 and till 2016, apt-get was popular. Then somehow when Ubuntu 16.04 was launched, this apt-get lost its, pop its popularity and most distributions of Linux started using this apt command, okay? So the first difference, let's talk about the differences between apt-get and apt. So the first difference that you can say that you will note is in the name itself or in the command itself. So let me press Control alt t I have pressed it, now my terminal has opened up. Let me zoom in a little bit. So now if I write here sudo apt-get update, so if I hit enter, it is going to ask me for the password. So now when I will execute this command, you gotta take a look at the end of it. So now this has been done and you can see that the last line, it says reading package lists done. All right. So the idea is that when you use this sudo apt get, it would update the repository only. It will not give you any additional information. So what we do want is that when we'll write here sudo apt update, now if we hit enter, now you will see that it would give us additional information as well. So once it has updated the repository, then it has given us additional information that 51 packages are there which can be updated or upgraded, okay? So it also tells us that how to upgrade those packages and how you can see the list of those packages. So this is an additional information that sudo apt gives that sudo apt get doesn't give, right? So this is one thing. Another difference is that that sudo apt get, um, it has a, you know, vast options, option things. The commands get complicated it gets difficult when it, it get, comes to apt-get and when it comes to apt-cache. While sudo apt-update, it has a very simple, uh, you know, specific set of options which a user can basically understand very quite easily if we talk about regular Linux users or regular Ubuntu users. They can understand that pretty well, pretty easily, and then they can implement that. So in both ways, we can say that sudo apt update command is superior than sudo apt get update. So if we talk about individually uh, about apt get and if we talk about apt update, then the idea is that this thing here, the apt that we have right here, it is better. If you ask the question that which one you should use, then I would say that as a Linux user, you should be using this apt command instead of apt get, okay? And the reason I have told you that it gives you better options, it also gives you the list of the packages which can be upgraded, while apt get just simply updates the repository, it also updates the repository, also shows you the packages that can be upgraded. Another thing that I wanna add here is that apt get thing here, it also separates the options of the commands like apt get and apt cache, while in apt you get a simple set of options and commands that you can simply use. And in that way, you can use this command quite effectively. So these were the options. Uh, and if you wanna see other differences, let me show you a table here. So here we have this table, take a look here. So we have for install package, we have apt get installed and we have apt installed, right? So take a look at all the commands. All right, take a brief look. So in this table, all the commands are same. If you replace apt get by apt, except for the apt upgrade command that we have here, okay? So 
which is like app full upgrade and app get you know distribution upgrade things like that so however the new app upgrade command installs packages that were added as dependencies of upgradable packages although similar to the app get upgrade it also does not remove the package that were previously installed so in addition the app show command prints the output in alphabetical order and hides some less important information that was shown by the app cache show command so the difference between the app and app get is not limited to just these command another visual feature has been added to the new app command to make it pleasant uh, for end users so whenever a package is updating while using an update uh, apt upgrade apt full upgrade or apt dist upgrade you will see a progress bar informing you of the progress of the process it also appears when you remove the package using apt remove or apt purge so for example if we go here uh, to our terminal and let's see if we have that progress bar or not so we write here sudo apt install and let's say we install aria2 so if we hit enter here you can see that it says you want to install it or not so i say yes so here you can see that it is basically now displaying the progress bar so this is a new feature of apt hope you've got the point hope you have learned the differences between apt and apt get hope you've enjoyed this video if you've really enjoyed it Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Linux Hint and for further updates and articles keep on visiting our website linuxhint.com. Thanks so much for watching.